This is a BMW 7 Series, it's the 3 litre 730D SE Saloon. It's automatic, 228 brake horsepower. The car has done 64,368 miles at the moment. Um, the fuel consumption figures urban 25, extra urban 44.1, and combined 34.4. 0-60 time of 7.8 seconds and a top speed of 148 miles an hour. It's uh, equipped with sat nav, parking aids, cruise control, auto aircon, and it's uh, dual zone. You've even got uh, your own fan switches at either side. Radio CD, and we've got some black leather upholstery, and this uh, lovely wood trim, which looks like wood. Whether it is or not is another thing, but we've also got electric memory seats, multifunction steering wheel. Um, th this car, it's a 2005-55, I think. Um, it's like new. the The interior looks like it's never been sat in. The dash is beautiful. The exterior is. It drives like a new one. Uh, hard to believe that uh, that it is. 12 years old we've got uh, there's two switches on the steering wheel here and there's two one there and one there at the back so you click those up shifts click that down shifts so uh, it's not exactly a paddle shift but the same sort of thing if you drive at the quarter to three position virtually you can change with your little finger and change with your thumb there so it's a really really well thought out steering wheel it's not an ideal position for the way I drive but I'm sure if you uh, move in the steering wheel which also is electronically adjustable like the memory seats this this car seems to date back to a time when BMWs were kind of built like tanks it's uh, a real hefty thing beautiful to drive in you've got your eye drive here and it's, uh, it's like being sat in an armchair because in, in the centre here is just a the whole bit is the front central armrest so the eye drives there so you can operate your sat nav and uh, climate control from there as you can see there it's moving up and down Everything's operated from one one switch. A kind of rotary thumb wheel. You press it in the middle, and that uh, selects whatever you've uh, navigated to. You've got your gear selector is here on the right hand side at the top. Which you can see when you turn the steering wheel. Your cruise controls here at the bottom. This indicators and also you've got two kind of fuel computers one at either side which you can set to different things if that chap hadn't come around here in the outside lane I'd just gun this and uh, good Ben in demonstration there we're doing 60 miles an hour at 1500 revs
is something special. Um, we, we obviously do go off um, Auto Traders price indicators, which are coming in shortly, um, probably at the end of the month. But this isn't a car that would um, that you would value as a normal car. It's uh, it's over and above. Lovely, lovely thing. With a private plate on this car. It's, uh, it looks like a real executive limousine. Got privacy glass from the B pillar backwards. So I'm not sure what this wood uh, is classed as or uh, is supposed to be. But it's it, the whole cabin is really well thought out, beautifully made. Back to the days before the phones were kind of this big. You've got a little uh, handset there which just comes out of the dashboard. And then proper drawers, proper line drawers. It's almost like bedroom furniture in here. It's great. We'll give it some gas. Cruise control, the bottom stalk on the left hand side, you just press it away from you, that flicks the cruise on. To knock it off, you knock it down. And if you just if you've had to brake for any reason or knock the cruise off, you can resume to the previous speed by just pressing the ending.
I've, I've got long legs and I've got my uh, seat well back anyway because I'm filming and there's, there's still loads of leg room.
low mileage for the year as well. showroom as well you could drive up around good old days of the motor trade
cut. I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this uh, BMW 730 um, from no screen at all or uh, communication screen or whatever. If you click the button on the left hand side just to the back of the uh, eye control or eye drive, whatever they call it, um, click the menu, it gives you communication, climate, entertainment, and navigation. So slide the eye drive over to the right, that gives you navigation. Then if you press it in the centre, it gives you the options menu and we want destination input. New destination, ABC, you can go from address book or last destination and so on. So ABC, and we are uh, Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Waltonydale, Preston and our postcode is P R then it defaults automatically to numbers, so we're five and then four. Then you have to use the eye drive to just scroll down to the one you want. Well, we're Waltonydale, so it's saying there PR54 Waltonydale and the street. So bottom there it's bringing up a list of roads that start with CH and Chorley Road is there so if I just turn the uh, iDrive down to Chorley Road and click that's it it gives you a house number which I can never remember what it is around here anyway so we'll just put 222 and then turn the iDrive to enter click enter set route guide and uh, it's telling us how to get there although it's only just over the road so it's a, that's as easy as that